Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I filmed, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I filmed a sort of a, I, I just don't have the settings, the setup I should say, to really do a get ready with me, but I tried to do one in my bathroom. So I'm going to superimpose that so you can see what I did to my face this morning. I am like so far behind on a, a ton of stuff, but I wanted to record this video really quick and share my week with you. I went to the oncologist, I had guests, and I thought I would show a little bit of how I created sort of my everyday look. I probably look like an idiot because I haven't really um, been able to, you know, play with it. Because normally I play with my makeup until I get to the point where I think it's blended good and I like it and it takes me a while right so even after I'm somewhat done I'm still doing what I'm doing now I'm blending out I'm trying to make sure that the colors are at least somewhat equal <laughs> which oftentimes they're really not but anyways Jay and I okay so if you're interested stay tuned boo boo intro Here we go. So, anyways, Jay and I had, um, we had guests this past weekend, so that's why I'm a little bit behind on a lot of this stuff. But we had guests this past weekend, and it was, I mean, these, these are folks that we see every year. They come up from Maryland. They spend two days camping in our yard. They have their own RV, and then they head on up to Bar Harbor. And then in August, we meet up with them, which is what we... We've done, I don't know, has it been 15, 20 years that we've been doing this? Probably closer to 20. Anyways, so Bill and Ada, they're older than us, but they're super nice people, and we met them when we first started camping up in, up in Bar Harbor, actually, and um, super helpful people, and we just kind of, you know, they kind of adopted us, I guess, if you want to call it that way. So... Um, Anyways, they came up, and as we always do, and I didn't take a picture this time, but typically we go out with um, our other friends, Mike and Judy, who also camp, and we normally go to Chinese food, which we did, and I normally take a group photo, which we did, which I didn't do. But Saturday, yesterday, um, the humidity had broken. It was just super, super nice out, and it was awesome, and... Um, we ended up going up to Portsmouth. We made an early reservation because that's really the only way you're going to be able to get into any of those places in Portsmouth is having an early reservation. So we made an early reservation and we ended up going to the deck restaurants. I'm going to superimpose some photos here. We ended up going to the deck restaurant and uh, Martingale Wharf. And it was really, it was really awesome. It was the first time we were able to take Bill and Nada there and for them to go out on the deck and and uh, enjoy the views of the Pisacoquatiqua River. I always say it wrong when I superimpose the, the name of the river, which goes out to the mouth of the ocean. Portsmouth is just really an awesome, an awesome um, town. I would love to live in Portsmouth. I'm blessed that I'm close enough that we can go visit whenever we want, but I would love to live in Portsmouth. It's a walking community. Um, it's got so many different shops, it's got so many different restaurants, it's got the nautical feel because it's on the river, it's at the mouth of the Atlantic. It's just an awesome, awesome community. So if I ever were to sell and buy and afford to buy in Portsmouth, because you know the old saying, sell, I don't like the way my wrinkles look in here, sell, um, sell high, buy low, right? So not going to buy right now. Um, <clears throat> But anyways, I would love to live in Portsmouth. And as you can see from the photos, we just had a really lovely, relaxing, relaxing time. And then we came home and they left just a little bit ago. So I decided I was going to talk a little bit about my week, but I'm going to superimpose right now so you can see a little bit of my sort of get ready with me. And all I have on in the beginning here is I've done my skincare with the exception is I have not done my, my, um, Fabushi. And this is a, um, this is just a, a, dupe, a dupe for the new face. It works the same. You get the microcurrent and I usually really focus in on where my skin, my face is 
the most droopy. Now I've only been using this for two weeks again because I stopped a lot of stuff and came back on. So I've been using my new face gel, although I have aloe vera gel that I use as well as a conducting gel. And then, so you can see I'm just doing, using this. I love this, it's a fraction of the price of the new face device, it works just as good. I, um, I don't even know if you can still get it, but if I, if I can, I'll, I'll link it for you. But so I, I put that on and I have been using a Super Goop. Um, I've been using Super Goop, the Unseen, which, you know, you can buy anywhere, but it is very, very pricey. But in my empty here, <coughs> I have the Trader Joe's, and I, I always cut them to get everything out, you know, because there's, <coughs> there's so much product in there that you just can't even get out. So I have that in there, and I is in my empties. I really love it, but it is a perfect dupe and much, much more affordable than the Super Goop Unseen. But it... The Super Goop and the Trader Joe's works phenomenal with my foundation, which I, which to me is really, really important. And so I have all of that on in my sunscreen. And then I, I typically, I've already done my mascara, but then I typically start to play with my, um, with my eyeshadows. And I have a combination of the Ulta, little Ulta things, and some of my um, Viseart. In here this is kind of dirty I'm just going to show you this is sort of like my own little my own little palette that I made and um, and then I use a combination of brushes you know I do love my uh, my Sigma for my crease I love this I also use the Sigma I've got two this one was sent to me from Mary Glitzy Fritzy but I have two Sigma brushes that I use to to um, blend so I, these are probably my three favorite and then I just have I just have a few others um, that I really, really like. This is, is this Sonia? Sonia G. I have a number of brushes that I really like. So I started with the all over, a lightest shade of bone or neutral all over. And then because I've already got my mascara on, you can see here, I'm just kind of building a little bit of the color, the foundation, the base, and then working the darker into what I believe to be my creative crease, created crease, because I really don't have one. And then I, I have to look at myself a couple of times because I can tell I've got more of a point here, so I can tell I have to blend a little bit more. But um, I, I try, I do one eye, and then I do the other eye, and then I go back, and I go back and forth. I cannot complete one eye and then go to the other eye. I just can't, I just cannot do that. So I did that. And I'm going to let this, this play so you can see a little bit of it. I have no foundation on, nothing but my sunblock at this point in time, so my, my skin looks pretty, pretty sad. Um, I had my oncologist visit this week, and um, that that was interesting because what she has decided to do is to put me on medication because of my risk factor. This was my second lumpectomy, and even though it was pre-cancer, not cancer, um, it had it had to come out because it turns to cancer. So screening, going for your mammograms, doing all of that stuff is so, so super, super important. But one of the things that she did, or she has, and I have the prescription, I just haven't picked it up yet, is um, she wants me to go on medication. She says it would reduce my risk. There are some drawbacks to it. Um, irritability, you know, hot flashes, stuff like that, weight gain, uh, hair loss, there, there's a bunch of different things that, side effects. And I have to, so I'm gonna experiment with this. This is a much lower dose and it could still give me some side effects, but more people can tolerate this. So she called the prescription in, I'm gonna pick it up. She also did blood work, they drew blood. They're gonna do a complete metabolic panel for all the cancer genes, not just the BRCA1 and 2, I'm probably saying that wrong, but all this whole panel of any any hereditary gene or gene that you have in you that um, is predisposed to certain types of cancer. It doesn't tell you whether you have the cancer or not, but it's going to tell you whether you've got the gene. And then, of course, if you do have the gene, say for a certain type of cancer, you can take a look at it. 
because, or a deeper look or whatever, because lately um, there's been so many, you know, between Babs, Take Control of Beauty right here on YouTube, and then a personal friend of mine, my hairdresser's husband, just like that, you know, just like that stage four cancer. Unbelievable. And, um, you know, my, my hairdresser's husband had the buildup just like, you know, Babs, where it started with back pain and trying to really come up, come to grips with what was going on. And then just never really having that solid diagnosis of, you know, cancer that metastasized and stuff like that. So I really feel, I feel that this test is really good. I don't know if Medicare is going to pay for it. And if it pays for it, great. But if not, it's so much more affordable today to have this test than it was in the beginning. Because I think when they first came out with it years ago, it was like three grand, something like that. And um, now it's like $250. So, you know, I said to Jay, that's going to be the best money spent, $250, just to, you know, to know whether or not I am predisposed, where I am more high risk uh, of, you know, having anything like that. So... Anyways, that's what that's what we did, and she's going to monitor my progress to make sure that, where is my thing? She's going to monitor my progress to, um, you know, and if I, if I do have the side effects, I'm just to call her right away. So that was Thursday. I was a little bit um, bummed out. You know, I was a little bit taken aback because I didn't want to get that news about the medication. I just wanted to hear you don't need it type of thing. So I was really bummed out about that. But um, I also went, um, because my job has changed, I think I might have mentioned that I'm working, I sort of semi-retired, I'm sort of working part-time now, so I'm doing about 20 hours a week, which gives me a lot more flexibility and freedom to do things that I really enjoy. But um, and because of that, I was able to go to the beach one day this week, and the weather was really hot and humid, and the beach was, there was a number of people. I went with a girlfriend, met her up there, and just enjoyed the beach tremendously. They had a little dinner on one of the deck restaurants there, and then came home. But it, it was been, it's since my last video closed on my mother's house, highly emotional event for me. I had a total meltdown, and we did a two-part closing because I knew I wasn't going to be able to handle it well. So Jay did the buyer end closing with the buyers and I just signed on my own the day before so that I wouldn't have to, you know, wouldn't have to deal with it. Anyways, new beginnings, right? New beginnings. So I had bought this when I had gone up to the uh, cosmetic company store. This is Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing makeup broad spectrum spf 45 and that's what i have on my face it is very moisturizing so it i'm probably looking very very shiny um, because it is moisturizing so if you have like say oily skin or whatever this probably would not work for you my skin tends to be drier but lately since i've been doing the red light and i've been you know been doing my collagen obviously for quite a long time Lately, I've noticed my skin has changed and it doesn't seem to be as dry. And I don't know if it's because of the red light therapy that my skin is thickening and becoming more plush. That's probably the biggest thing I noticed on that. I love, I love, I love my candy way mask. But anyways, this is what I put on. Very, very little. After I did my super goop, obviously. So I have my, my, uh, my SPF. Then I put this particular foundation on. And I really like Estee Lauder, but this is, like I said, very, very shiny. I used ColourPop today for my blush. Um, this is Vogue. I've had it forever. So I used that for my blush. And then I ended up having to, and I used Mally Pore Defender, I think it's called. I ended up having to powder down if you want to call it that, I still have to. Mally Point of Fender, without giving me a powder look, will take down shine. So, you know, I ended up putting that on to try to take some of the shine down. And the shine is obviously worse because of the lighting I'm in. And then I ended up using Morphe SPF 30. Now, this has a high, the alcohol count, and it's like the first ingredient, which is not, not at all good. But, 
I was talking to Shayla and um, Simply Shayla, formerly Life With Lily. I love Shayla. I absolutely love, love Shayla. She's the, she's one of the kindest people that I know and a true friend, just an absolute true friend. Anyways, I was talking to her when I was buying this and um, she just kind of, you know, because I was hesitant because of the high alcohol count and she was just kind of saying to me, you know, you have so much, when you put that on, it's a finishing spray. When you put that on, you already have stuff on your face. So I said, that's true. So anyways, I've been using this. I don't put it on naked skin, obviously, because it is a finishing spray, setting spray, and it's called Sunsetter SPF 30. I happen to like Morphe. I use a lot of the Morphe setting sprays. I really like this, even with the high alcohol count. Now, you have to use it very lightly. Now, granted, I have Super Goop 40 on my face. I have Estee Lauder, what is this one, 35? 45 on my face. And then I topped it off with SPF 30. I know, right? I know I do not want to get any kind of an other reoccurrence of skin cancer issues. I made my most surgery. My scars looking really super good, which I probably should say that. I don't know. I think I might have showed it. Normally, when I get to a certain point in my skincare and my routine, I put Arnica gel on my scar form because I'm still swollen. The side of my face is still a little swollen, so I usually put that on. But anyways, <clears throat> it's been a week. It's been a crazy, crazy week because of everything that's happened. But house is sold. Friends have just left to go on to their journey in Bar Harbor. It is Sunday morning. I'm hoping to get this video without much editing. Um up <laughs> and I've superimposed as you can see some of the beach shots earlier some of our deck restaurant and um, a little bit of a funky get ready with me I'm gonna go ahead and film uh, a couple of wig reviews and because I'm so far behind but Jay's golfing today so I'm just gonna be staying home doing that stuff but before I do that I'm gonna edit this and I'm hopefully 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 you'll see this very shortly it's Sunday have a wonderful Sunday and have a fabulous rest of your week love you all